It's really bright in my face, but I think the lighting's good, so let's let's keep it right here. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be a little different. Again, we're picking up the camera. I like doing these vlog-style videos. I feel like it's a little bit more interactive with you guys, but we're gonna do a room tour today. And I know in the beginning of my videos, I always say welcome back to another video where we do aquarium related things in my apartment while I'm in college. I don't think you guys have ever seen like my full room in the setup because I sleep where my fish tanks are. And I know that's not uncommon to a lot of people because having a pico tank or a nano tank in your room is pretty normal. But having all of my aquarium equipment and just everything in my room, I'm going to show you guys it. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm crazy, if my room looks like a jungle. I'm sure it could get worse, it's gonna get worse, but let me know. Again, before we jump into the video, if you guys are interested in any of the products that I use in the aquariums or with the camera setup that I use to film these videos, then be sure to click on the Amazon storefront link in my bio. Helps out the channel, and if you guys buy anything using those links, it supports us here, so thank you. My dishwasher is going off right now, so just don't mind that. We're gonna walk into my room. This is, of course, the entrance. Got a nice little plant here, nice little spider plant on the floor. Um, I do put it in the sun like once a week just so that it gets actual proper filtered sunlight. It doesn't get direct sunlight right here, so I do give it a little bit of supplemental sunlight, I guess if you want to call that. Entrance to my room, very small apartment room. I share an apartment with my little brother while we're both in school. Um, so yeah, this, I don't know why the camera's not focusing. There we go. I would say it's probably 12 by 10, so it's a very standard size. We're gonna go ahead and close the door so that the dishwasher's not freaking messing up the video. Starting off on the right side here, I've got my closets on the right. We're not gonna jump into those. However, I do keep some of my fish supplies that I don't access that much, so I just kinda keep it stored away in the top of my closet. Got a nice little mirror set up here when I need to get ready and check myself out. No, I'm just kidding, but you guys can see yourselves there. And then right here, I've got my desk. So this is where I do all of my schoolwork, of course. I do my editing here, and then I also just kind of sit here and think about new ideas and stuff like that and kind of ponder about what's going on in my day-to-day -day life. So this is kind of like the little quarters here. I've got the windows open, or excuse me, the blinds open. I never have them open all the way, but I have them open for this video so you guys can see the natural sunlight coming through. It's pretty nice because all three of these blinds open up, of course, and then that window actually opens up so I can get some fresh air coming in through these windows. And they're pretty much floor to ceiling. They're pretty tall, so very nice to get some natural sunlight coming in there. This window is west facing, so the sun sets right behind those mountains there. So I get a really nice sunset that comes through these windows. So on my desk, I've got a couple plants here. This is a pothos, I believe is what it's called. Um, nice little plant. It's starting to finally hang over on the side here, and it's in this cool little cement pot. So really happy with that. That's a new plant that I recently picked up. And then over here is a new project that I just set up today, and it's a spider plant that I removed all of the dirt from the root ball and just put it in this little one gallon old aquarium that I had and filled it up halfway with some water. So we're gonna see how this does, nice little fun project. And again, it's just adding a little bit more life to the desk. I've got my cheap gaming chair that I use, and then under my desk, I recently moved this out from under my bed. I'm gonna get it cleaned up and kinda just have it sitting to the side, but this is my old Innovative Marine 20 gallon Nuvo. So I've got the Aquanites on top, and again, it's kinda just staged, just sitting there. But I'm just gonna get it cleaned up just in case I ever wanna get it set up. It'll be ready for me. Moving away from the workstation, this is my bed. Not gonna talk too much about it, it's just a simple Amazon frame. But I do keep a bunch of aquarium supplies and equipment underneath. It's all organized in bins and stuff. I have very little storage here in the apartment, so I gotta keep equipment under the bed. I gotta keep it in the closet, and then I've got a utility closet outside that I also keep equipment in. And then the corner that you guys see the most, this is where I keep my fish tanks and then a majority of my house plants. Not a very big room, it's mainly three sections, the fish tanks, my bed, and then my desk area with the couple things that I have over there. So I try to be very minimalistic when it comes to like the living space, I guess. I do my best to keep it simple. Not that I can go crazy anyways because of the space, but moving to the fish tanks. Um, the side table I got from Marshalls, if you guys are familiar with that. I tried to match all of the woods together, so got those two and then the desk. They're all pretty similar in shades, or I guess finishes but um, I paid like 60 bucks for this. Very nice little stand, holds up the 10 gallon perfectly, and it's the perfect size to fit the 23 point whatever inches 
for the uh, 10 gallon, so pretty cool. I also have another aquarium under here. This is the 3.7 gallon. This thing is a sweet little tank. If I can ever get it set up again, I would love to, but we'll have to hold off on that for now. The 10 gallon NEM tank is doing good. We did add a couple of corals to the tank um, just to start filling in some of the space. I decided that I'm gonna start adding corals to this and not keep it a NEM only tank um, just for the sole purpose that I don't think I'm gonna have this thing filled up with anemones anytime soon and I want it filled up with some color. So we're gonna start adding some corals. To the left of the tank, we've got the ATL reservoir and control panel for the 38 gallon reef tank. But on top of that, we got this really nice big pothos as well. And I've had this one for the longest amount of time out of all of them. And it's starting to grow pretty well. We also got my control panel back here, which it doesn't look that organized, but this is the most organized I've ever had my cords and controllers. So got that back there. And then the ATO reservoir is just a Home Depot five gallon bucket. And of course, moving to the left, this is the dresser wooden stand that I have. I keep all my clothes and stuff in here, but right on top is the 38 gallon Fiji Q Peninsula. And I've had multiple tanks before on this stand or this dresser, and it's a very sturdy cabinet. This tank is also doing good as well. You guys have seen this in all the other videos. And then right over to the left of it, we just have some more house plants. These guys I actually don't know the names of. Um, this one I really like because it kind of looks like a mini palm tree. And then this one right here. And then we've got two more spider plants right here on the bottom. We've got this really tall guy on the left. And then I really like the color of this one on the right. And that's pretty much it for the room tour. Like I said, it's not a big room, so there's not much to go over, but I do my best in just trying to keep it clean and then adding the plants and the obviously the fish tanks and stuff like that to liven it up and do a little bit of contrast between the salt water and the greenery of the plants. I am still trying to add more plants. I do actually have an idea for the Innovative Marine 20 gallon. If I don't set this up as an aquarium, I think what I'll do is turn the Aquanites on in a very white setting, and then I will maybe add some plants and turn this into somewhat of a terrarium still having the plants in the pots, but then being able to mist it and keep some humidity in the aquarium. If you guys have any suggestions for what I should do or change up or add to my room, let me know in the comments down below. I've only lived in here for about nine going on 10 months, so I'm still switching up and changing things as I go. I would love to add some stuff to the walls or maybe some hanging plants from the top of the window. So like I said, let me know in the comments down below. I'm really open to suggestions. I've been trying to hop on like Pinterest and stuff and see different ideas. But um, yeah, super excited to keep growing and adding stuff to the room. And of course, we're gonna keep going with the fish tanks and making more content. If you guys do like seeing the house plant content and stuff like this, please let me know because I love doing little projects like this. It's very inexpensive and you can find a lot of this stuff at home goods stores for not that um, much money. And then spider plants like this, I think I paid maybe six or seven dollars for this guy and it's a decent sized plant for what it is. Um, so yeah, all this kind of content I would love to make for you guys. So if you are interested, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of short, but I wanted to show you guys my setup in my room. If you guys were curious as to how I do it and what it looks like as someone that's going through school and college right now and trying to set up a couple fish tanks, um, this is kind of what it looks like, at least for me. If you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments down below. But with all that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.